I'd like to briefly talk with you about directed numbers. And um, directed numbers, you can say they also have a direction. Yeah? They either go to the right or they go to the left. So I've made, I've constructed this number line, and of course that one goes on and on and on. And after five, you get six, seven, eight, minus five, and minus six, minus seven. And if I would ask you, well, two plus one equals, now you start laughing a little bit, two plus one, what a silly question, that equals three. Of course, yeah, you're right. And why does it equal three? Well, if I stand at number two on my number line, and if I go one step to the right, then I am standing at point three. That's why two plus one is three, yeah? So how much is two plus two? Well, yeah, that's four. Come on, we're doing IGCSE or GCSE. It's a really silly question, isn't it? Yeah, but it's good still to think about that, just for a brief moment. Two plus two, because so I'm standing at two, I go one step to the right, and I go another step to the right, uh, so plus two, and that's why two plus two is four. Yeah, that's the direction to the right. Now, if I would ask you, what about five minus one? Well, oh, come on, that is four. Yes, of course it's four, because when I'm standing at five and I'm subtracting, I actually go to the left on my number line. So I'm standing at four. Now, looking at that, I can conclude that when I am plusing, when I'm adding, I go to the right on my number line, steps that direction, and if I'm subtracting, I am going to the left on my number line. Now that all of a sudden that makes it a lot more easy to say, for instance, minus three, minus two. So minus three, and I'm subtracting, so I'm going to the left. So the answer, minus one, minus two, is going to be minus five. That is the explanation you need for directed numbers. Yeah? It has a direction, yeah? positive or negative. And now I want you to go to the next video to look at some example questions.